Hi everyone, welcome to your channel Impostech. I am Yogesh. So today I come up with a new IoT project, and this IoT project is mainly focused on like monitoring the liquid temperature. So in order to monitor the liquid temperature, we need waterproof temperature sensor. So this video is mainly focused on the DS One at B Twenty waterproof temperature sensor. So in many industries, or you can say in factories. we need to monitor the temperature of liquid so you can consider the example of like the milk industries or you can say the milk production industries where they need to monitor the temperature of the milk and that is very crucial temperature if the temperature of the milk goes uh, beyond certain value then so all the milk will spoil so i come up with a solution which is like monitoring the liquid temperature using the waterproof ds1 at b20 temperature sensor So here in this project you will learn about how to connect the DS1 at B20 temperature sensor with the ESP32 board how to configure the blink iot platform and at last you will see how to write the code for the same so without wasting time so let's get started everyone in this project you need ESP32 board and DS1 at B20 waterproof temperature sensor and 4.7 kilo ohm register so without 4.7 kilo ohm register it won't work I tried using the waterproof sensor alone without using the 4.7 kilo ohm register, but it's not working at all. So you have to use the 4.7 kilo ohm register in order to read the temperature data. So I have added ESP32 board. I have added the DS1 at B20 temperature sensor and the 4.7 kilo ohm register. Also, I have added. Okay. Now this sensor has three pins. One is VCC, one is data, and another one is ground pin. So I have connected the VCC. to the v in pin of the esp32 board so v in pin is nothing but whenever we will connect the micro usb to the esp32 board so whatever the power which is at the micro usb which is directly transferred to v in pin that means we are getting the 5 volt supply here in the v in pin of the esp32 board now i have connected that vcc of the temperature sensor to the v in pin of the esp32 board now let's connect the ground to the ground of the esp32 board now here comes the twist that we have to connect the one end of the register to the v in that means to the power okay and another end of the register is going towards data and also the same end is going towards digital pin 13 of the esp32 board so i hope you understand the circuit diagram so this is very simple circuit diagram you just have to pay attention in the connection of 4.7 kilo ohm register let's move on to the blink iot platform where we will learn about how to configure our platform in order to read the liquid temperature data so i have already signed into my blink iot platform now here you need to create the template and all so in my previous videos or you can say the series of like blink iot platform videos i have already mentioned so many times that how to create template how to add, create the dashboard how to add the data stream how to add the metadata how to create the automations so each and everything i have mentioned in detail in my previous videos so if you would like to know more about it you you can go there and watch my previous videos which are mainly focused on the blink iot platform okay so here if you see i have already created the template named iot based liquid temperature monitor okay so here i have already mentioned that data stream web dashboard automation so you have to watch my previous videos in order to learn all those stuff so if i go to the data stream here i have created one data stream which is called temp data here i have defined the virtual pin v0 and which is integer and here i have taken the maximum of like 0 to 1000 you can take the maximum number according to the temperature data or you can say the sensors maximum and minimum rating okay so now i'll click on so now i will click on the close okay here you can see on the web dashboard i have added the widget which is gauge and the chart widget so i have configured this widget so that i am able to read the data coming on the virtual pin v0 here you can see temperature v0 so here i am using the virtual pin v0 and i am writing whatever the data i am getting from the temperature sensor to the pin v0 here you just have to pay attention to the virtual pin v0 because i am going to use this virtual pin v0 in the coding part as well 
so pay attention to this virtual pin v0 okay so here i have added two widgets one is gauge and another one is chart so here i am getting the data of temperature and here also i am getting the data of temperature in chart format now in automations so this automation tab is mainly used for for example based on this temperature data what you would like to do for example if i am using this temperature sensor uh, let's suppose in uh, milk production farm that means uh, you can say the amul factory where they are mainly they are having cold storage and pasteurization method for milk there we can able to use this ds18 b20 waterproof temperature sensor and now we wanted to like for example if the temperature of milk goes sudden value or you can say that if the temperature of the milk goes beyond the certain value then what would you like to do we can send an alert notification we can send an email we can turn on any buzzer or something like that so that's why the automation tab is very important in order to perform the automations okay now metadata is nothing but it's all the information which is related to your device so here in the events you will see like whenever your device will connect to the internet it will give you a notification that your device is online and after whenever you will disconnect your device from the internet it will give you the notification that your device is offline okay now here i haven't configured the mobile dashboard as of now but in order to configure the mobile dashboard you need to install the blink iot app in your mobile phone and there you can easily able to configure the mobile dashboard of your iot based liquid temperature monitoring template it's very simple i have already explained how to configure the mobile dashboard in my previous video as a, in my previous videos as well now we have like let's suppose we have configured the template now now we need to add a device to our template so how to add a device to the template which is iot based liquid temperature monitoring so in order to add the device to your temperature you need to click on this search icon and here you can see i have already added the device in order to add a new device you have to click on plus new device and select from template and here i will choose my template which is iot based liquid monitoring here you can rename the name of the device as well so this is how you can add a device to your template i have already added the device as you can see on my screen this is the device which i have already added last time i have connected it yesterday in order to test the project let's move to the coding part okay. of this project now this is the arduino ide and this is where we need to write the code for esp32 now let's understand the line by line of the code how i have written down this code in order to use the ds18 b20 temperature sensor you need to have two libraries and what are those two libraries first one is one wire.h library second one is dallas temperature.h library what is blink template id blink template name blink authorization token from where i am getting all those things now go back to your dashboard here and come to device info you have to click on search icon click on the device which you have added and click on device info so here you can see the data blink template id blink temperature and sorry blink template name blink authorization token let's click on copy it, it's copied and go back to your code and paste it here like this okay now in my previous videos i have already mentioned how to install the libraries for ds18 b20 temperature sensor you can watch that video and get in and get install these libraries okay so these are the libraries which are responsible for the communication between the wifi and the blink iot platform okay now here i am using the 13 pin of the esp32 board okay now here these are all the commands which are for like you can say i am providing the authorization token by defining this character here you can see i have giving the ssid name and the password for the ssid that means this is the password of my uh, you can say the router or you can also use the mobile hotspot as well okay now let's go inside the void setup so inside the void setup 
I have just started the serial monitor and in order to read, so these are all the commands which are responsible for connecting your device to the Wi-Fi. So if it is connected to Wi-Fi, it will show that directly it will show the data or you can say the connected to the blink. And if it's not connected to the Wi-Fi, it always says connecting to Wi-Fi. Okay. Now, now let's come inside the wide loop. This is very important part. Okay. So these are all the commands or you can say the functions which are already defined inside the Dallas temperature library. Okay. So in order to get the temperature data, here you can see I have here the variable, I have declared a variable called temperature C is equal to sensor dot get temp C by index. So this is the command which storing the temperature data in degree Celsius. Now here you can see I have created this variable which is temperature C. Now this variable is storing the temperature data. Okay. Now I wanted to print those data onto the serial monitor. So in order to print the data on the serial monitor, I can use this command which is serial.print. Here I am printing the word or you can say the character temperature in degree Celsius. And then I am printing the temperature which is this with the two decibel point. Now if this is not the case, then it will show the message which is unable to read the temperature data. Earlier I have mentioned about the virtual pin V0. So we have created one virtual pin which is temp data and connected that temp data virtual pin to the V0 virtual pin. So now I am writing all the temperature data which is stored in temperature C to the virtual pin V0. I hope you understand. This is very simple. I have created one virtual pin which is temp data on the Blink IoT platform and now I am writing the temperature data which is in this variable to this virtual pin. Here I have given the delay of one second. That means I am reading the temperature data after every one second. Now this is the Blink function which will run continuously inside the word loop. So this is all about the coding part of this project. So if you haven't understand anything, let me know inside the comment section. Now I have already uploaded the same code inside my ESP32 board. So let's see the project is in action. Project. So here I will click on the serial monitor. So as you can see on the serial monitor, I'm getting the temperature data, which is 28 degrees Celsius. Now if I just hold this temperature sensor and you can see the temperature start increasing now. Now what I'll do, I will just insert this sensor into the water and let's see what happens now. So this is the ESP32 board and this is the glass with water and let me just insert it inside the water and let's see what happens now. So temperature start decreasing rapidly. Now I'll go to the Blink IoT platform and let's see that whether we are able to getting the data or not. So here you can see I'm getting the data the 25 degrees Celsius temperature is there. Now if I go to the platform once again, like if I go to the, so if I go to the code once again, here you can see I'm getting the 24 degrees Celsius as well. So this is how the temperature is reducing rapidly. So if I, so here you can see now the temperature onto the Blink IoT platform. So it's 23 degrees Celsius now. The temperature is rapidly decreasing because I have inserted this temperature sensor inside the water. So this is the waterproof temperature sensor. This, so this is how we can easily able to monitor the liquid temperature data over the internet. That means I can able to monitor the temperature of liquid from anywhere in the world. So if you found this project useful for you, then do subscribe the channel, like the video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.